Why is she standing out here with a pair of shoes? A ridiculously high-heeled pair of shoes? Well, I'll tell you why. I'm five foot two-ish. I was concerned about my comfort level driving the Heimer Active that I call Betty. And I did a lot of research about what I could do about that. I found some upfitters that were prepared to make special attachments that would fit to the pedals, which would make it more comfortable for me. I did for a brief moment consider strapping a two by four to the pedals, but apparently that's highly illegal and in hindsight, probably not a good idea. And so this pair of shoes was my solution, but I'm happy to say I don't need them anymore. When Betty arrived, I was very happy to discover that there are lots of bells and whistles on that seat and it is incredibly comfortable for me to drive all five foot two of me. So if you're a shorty and you're wondering if it's going to work out, take it from me, you'll be just fine. Let me take you inside and show you. So these are the Heimer chairs which I find really comfortable. They still have the airbag functionality built in and I, they're plush and comfy. It has to do with these control knobs on the side um, which can adjust to exactly how you want them. This knob is the lumbar support. It controls this portion of the seat. So what you need to remember is if you rotate the knob backwards, it's gonna pull that seat away from you. And if you rotate the knob forwards, it brings it towards you. I find that this is very comfortable. The knobs on the bottom um, have to do with leveling the plane or changing the plane of the seat under you. Um, basically, what you have to remember is if you rotate those knobs forward, it's going to raise whichever part of the seat you are at. And if you rotate them backwards, it's going to lower them. Forwards up, backwards down. Um, they adjust pretty well for whether you're tall or short. Now this bar that you see at the front is actually what you use to push the seat forwards and backwards. You have to push up and then pull it back. You'll find the front corners of both seats are actually levers that you control by pulling up. The outside one controls the seat back. So you pull on it, you can push it forward or backwards. It's pretty easy. The inside corner actually rotates the seat in, but you have to push it forward first. Then you pull on the knob and you rotate inside. You do that both with the driver's seat and the passenger seat, making for a nice dinette area. The interior armrests actually lift up, um, allowing you nice, easy access to get inside. Oh yeah, there's this little knob here, which is great. Um, if you rotate it, it adjusts the angle of the armrest to be exactly how you want it for your elbow. Now, the seatbelt mechanism is actually attached to the chair, which is great. When you're rotating it, the seatbelt's not getting all tangled up. So I also have a little gadget that I use. Because I'm short, that seat belt kind of cuts my neck. So there's lots of different ones. This is the one I choose. It's just a two-part system. It attaches really easily to the lap belt, snap it on, and then it has a little area where you thread the side strap through, and it just adjusts that seat belt to the point where you're not getting throttled as you're sitting in the chair. I found these. They're great for additional storage on the back of the seat. Um, the only thing you do need to be careful of is when you're rotating the seat, if you have a giant bag, it could be problematic. Um, I love the chairs. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. I figured if I could wear them, that would help me in... That was so wrong. <laughs> Let's start over. So. Hi. If you're wondering why I'm standing outside of my vehicle, stop it. Start over. I'm for the queue of, I don't need these anymore, but okay, so shoot. Let's start. Sorry. Oh, and, 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 I forgot. If your seats are not locked in the forward facing position, your vehicle will not move. If you stop from driving and you don't turn your engine off, when you try to rotate that chair, your alarms are going to go off. Just turn your engine off rotate the chair, you can turn the engine back on after it's rotated.